Shalom. First and foremost, I want to begin by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem Rakhadash, Yahweh. That's the name of the Heavenly Father. And Yahweh Shah is the name of his only begotten son, who the world know as Jesus Christ. And I want to give double honors to all the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, whom we learn this truth from. And I want to say Shalom to the hopefully elect. And today the message is going to be based around another wars and rumors of war. You know, this came out yesterday. It says Russia issues new threat against U.S. And it says Russian President Vladimir Putin warned the West that Moscow could supply weapons to its adversaries. You see, because you have America who has been sending Ukraine billions of dollars, you know, funding the war. And the Russians, they, they don't like that. They basically been saying since you're giving them money, that's proved that you are uh, our enemies. And now uh, Joe Biden has gave um, the Ukrainians the green light to use uh, American missiles on the Russians. So now this is why Putin is making this statement that he can supply weapons to his adversaries. And one of the main adversaries right now of uh, these so-called Americans uh, would be uh, those Iranians. Because you got um, Joe Biden and the Americans uh, funding the war over there against uh, Gaza and Israel, you see? As a matter of fact, it says, just get to the straight to the point. As a matter of fact, let me grab this real quick. Like how they're threatening it to um, send those missiles. This book of Ezekiel, chapter 38, <clears throat> in verse 1. And it says, And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against God, the land of Magog, the chief prince of Meshach and Tubal, and prophesy against him. You see, and Gog and Magog is a parable for the Russians. And it says, And say thus, said the Lord Yahweh, Behold, I am against thee, O God, the chief prince of Meshach and Tubal. I will turn thee back and put hooks into thy jaws, and I will bring thee forth, and all thine army, horses, and horsemen, all of them clothed with all sorts of armor, even a great company with bucklers and shields, all of them handling swords. You see, so hey, the Lord said he was going to put that spirit uh, back into him. You see, uh, going back to the uh, the Soviet Union. And you can watch a, uh, it's a documentary on Netflix called The Turning Point, and they show you how the Soviet Union was getting down back then. You see, and, and, and the Lord has put that spirit back on him. That's why they're making all these different threats to America, saying uh, the different um, weapons that they have, missiles that they got to melt the concrete over here. You see, and now they're talking about how they're going to start supplying America's uh, adversaries because of what America is doing. You see? And just a quick one, like I said, the Lord said he was going to put those hooks back into their jaws. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 21, and verse 1. It says, The king's heart is in the hand of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh As the rivers of water, he turn of it with us wherever he will. You see, and you know the word heart, go back to the mind. So it says the king mind is in the hand of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh So the Lord has these Russians turned up in their spirit, ready to go to war with you Americans, hey, which is going to happen. World War Three is inevitable. It's just a matter of time, man. You see? Now, continuing on, Ezekiel 38 and verse 5. Matter of fact, read 30, uh, 38 and 4 again. I will turn thee back and put hooks into thy jaws, and I will bring thee forth. And all thine army, horses, and horsemen, all of them clothed with all sorts of armor, even a great company with bucklers, and shields, all of them handling swords. It says Persia, Ethiopia, and Libya, with them, all of them with shield and helmet. In Persia, those Iranians. You see? It says Gomer and all his bands, the house of Togomar, of the north quarters, and all his bands, and 
many people with them. It says, Be thou prepared and prepare for thyself, thou and all thy company that are assembled unto thee, and be thou a guard unto them. You see, that's what the Lord told Gog and Magog, a, a be a, a guard unto them. And now they're talking about supplying a, them with nuclear weapons. But going back to this article, it says, Russia President Vladimir Putin has warned that the West has warned the West that Moscow could supply weapons to its adversaries. His comments came during a meeting with a foreign journalist at the St. Petersburg International Economic Forum, where he criticized the U.S. and its European allies' delivery of long-range weapons to Ukraine. You see. And now Joe Biden has gave those Ukrainians the okay to use those long-range weapons against those Russians. So now he's going to supply America allies uh, with um, nuclear weapons, as he's been talking about. And just continuing on, just talking about how the U.S. has strongly allied uh, Ukraine since Russia launched a full-scale invasion back in February 2022. It says the U.S. has provided Ukraine with approximately $51 billion in military assistance since February 2022. But it's been more than that. You see, they're up to the hundreds, man. But going down, uh, get straight to the point. Mm, Salaki. It says, Putin said that Ukrainian attacks on Russian soil using American weaponry could lead to very serious problems, adding that if, if someone thinks it is possible to supply such weapons to a war zone to attack our territory and create problems for us, we why don't we have the right to supply weapons of the same class to regions of the world where, they, where there will be strikes on sensitive facilities? Of those countries, you see, so a hey, Putin said they're gonna be very serious problems. That's how you know, hey, that's how we know our Lord Yahweh Shah is on the way. Uh, Saint Matthew 24, it they asked what was gonna be signs of his coming, it said wars and rumors of wars. You see, all these things must take place, and we see a hey, uh, daily just old birth pains they come and it says, hey, when the child get closer, the, the birth pains get. Get closer and closer, worse and worse, man. It says, continuing on, just get another another quick point. That was, that was basically it. Oh, matter of fact, I know what I'm looking for. Hmm. Uh, it says, okay, yep, here you go, right here. It says, in addition to suggesting Russia could supply weapons to American adversaries, Putin warned the West that the possibility of Russia using nuclear weapons should not be taken lightly. You see? And that's what you niggas do. You scoff, you mock. Hey, the prophets are out everywhere throughout the four corners of the earth, out on the highways and byways doing lessons. We got signs saying, telling you America will be destroyed by nuclear missiles. And here it is. You have Putin telling you uh, 
nuclear weapons should not be taken lightly because they're talking about using them. It says Moscow has repeatedly threatened to use its nuclear arsenal throughout the war. They have repeated it. They constantly saying this because, hey, the king's heart is in the hand of Yahweh by Shem al Shai. And that's what the Lord has determined for this place. It says, which has lasted more than two years. It says, for some reason, the West believed that Russia would never use it. We have a nuclear doctrine. <laughs> Look what it says. Putin said, referring to Russia's policy of allowing nuclear weapon usage if the very existence of the state is put under threat. It says, if someone's actions threaten or our sovereignty and territorial integrity, we consider it possible for us to use all means at our disposal, Putin said, this should not be taken lightly, superficially. You see? So he said it shouldn't be taken lightly. You know, and that's why they're talking about supplying uh, weapons uh, to, um, to America allies. And we know America allies, I mean, adversaries, America adversaries. And one of the main adversaries, again, is... Um, those, those Arabs, man. With all this going on, this is the book of Second Edges, chapter fifteen, and verse twenty-eight. It says, "Behold, an horrible vision, and the appearance thereof from the east, where the nations of the dragons of Arabia shall come out with many chariots, and the multitude of them shall be carried as the wind." Upon earth, that all they which hear them may fear and tremble. You see, oh, those old Arab nations, man, come with all with those Russians and all their allies. You see, and that's what's going to be World War Three is going to be uh, the BRICS versus the EU and NATO. You see, and all their different allies is going to be uh greatest war ever, the war to end all wars. Because our Lord Yahweh Shah is going to pop up in the midst of it and deliver the elect, wipe America off the face of the earth, and the remaining Edomites throughout the four corners of the earth going into slavery. You see? It says, Also the Carmanians, raging in wrath, shall go forth as the wild boars of the wood. And with great power shall they come and join battle with them. And shall waste a portion of the land of the Assyrians. You see? Let me get this real quick. Definition of Carmania. You see, it says, Carmania is a historical region that approximately corresponds to the current province of Kerman, Iran. You see? So it says, also, the Iranians raging in wrath shall go forth as the wild boars of the wood. You know, that was their blessing to be a wild man. And you see that. Them niggas will scrap a bomb to their chest and kill kill themselves and whoever around them, man. Blow a whole building up. So how much more if uh, Putin supplied them with those hypersonic nuclear missiles that can't be detected for them to push a button and have them sent off to certain uh, American... Uh, to to America, and to their allies, there's gonna be there's nothing to them. They'll kill themselves. So how much more just pressing the button to send a missile off? And it says, and with great power shall they come and join battle with them. With who? All their allies, uh, the BRICS: Brazil, Russia, India, China, South America. Uh, I think Egypt just joined. And it says, and shall waste a portion of the land of the Assyrians. And how they going to do that? By the way of those missiles, man. You see? Going back. Like I said, because, hey, that's um, what the Lord has determined. That Jeremiah 50. I think it's just following. Yep, it's Jeremiah 50 and verse 45. It says, Therefore, hear ye the counsel of Yahweh by Shemal Shai, that he have 
taken against Babylon and his purposes that he have purpose against the land of the Chaldeans. You see, it says, surely the least of the flock shall draw them out. Surely he shall make their habitations desolate with them. You see, and the least of the flock is going into those smaller countries like uh, Israel and Iran and how that war is going on, just brewing. Hey, that's what's going to cause uh, the, the big guns to come out, you see, because very well Russia could supply Iran with some nuclear missiles and they use them. And now hey, it's all out war. But hey, we know that the mark of the beast has to be implemented which is that RFID microchip for you niggas to take it to die within this war. You see? And it says, At the noise of the taking of Babylon, the earth is moved, and the cry is heard among among the nations. You see? When the old missile touch down, it tell you how the earth is going to rear to and fro like a drunkard. You see? And all this is for the deliverance of the elect. This is the book of Zephaniah, chapter 3 and verse 8. And it says, Therefore, wait ye upon me, saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Shah, until the day that I read Salaki, until the day that I rise up to the prey. For my determination is to gather the nations that I may assemble the kingdoms to pour upon them my indignation. World War Three, even all my fierce anger. For all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. You see, this is what the Lord has determined, man. For all the wickedness, you know, the Esau, Edom, and all these other nations have been putting on the um the, the, the tribes of Israel, man. The Lord has World War Three waiting for them. And it's just a matter of time before it happens. You see? The second world pass, the third world come up quickly, and we see is the uh the build up, and it's our job to warn you of these things. I'm gonna um, we'll close it out with this book of Ecclesiastes, chapter five, and verse seven, and it says, "Make no tear to turn to the Lord, and put not off from day to day, for suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed, and perish in the day of vengeance." You see. So, hey, that's the message. They make no terror to turn to the Lord because we see uh, that the spirit that Yahweh Bashim al Shah has on all these different uh, uh, kings out here. Putin, uh, the nigga Netanyahu over there, uh, the damn Israeli, uh, Rocket Man, uh, China, all of them, they, they ready for war, man. While you Americans are around here sleeping, don't care. You think it'll never happen. You, you you don't want to hear about it. You think just if you just put it off, don't think about it, that it won't come. It's a guarantee that these things are going to come, man. And we're here to tell you and warn you of these things to repent and return back and tell you how about Shema Shai. Because it says, uh, suddenly shall the wrath come. Just like in 2020 when they locked everything down all of a sudden. So, hey, if you don't uh, repent, you're going to get caught up in the judgment. Of you, how about Shemal Shai, man? So, hey, Lord willing, this video is edifying. I'm going to end it off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to all the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who we learned the truth from, and Shalom to the Holy Lake.